Elon Musk has officially revealed the upcoming version of Tesla Optimus and outlined five major updates that he claims will position Optimus as the definitive leader in humanoid robotics, leaving long-standing competitors such as Boston Dynamics and Unitree far behind. The official public unveiling is scheduled for early 2026, and Musk describes it as one of the most significant tech events of the coming year. Optimus is intended to carry out a wide range of tasks, working in factory settings, cooking meals, cleaning homes, and performing hundreds of other domestic errands. Engineers have reportedly taught it to drive a car as well. So what are the latest updates revealed? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It would be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you amazing episodes about Tesla humanoid robots and all the latest AI and EV innovations from Elon Musk. And there isn't an ounce of metaphor in these words. Tesla bot is already surpassing its predecessors in every metric. It moves three times faster, performs tasks twice as accurately, and most importantly, it teaches itself literally just by observing a human. At Tesla's Palo Alto facility, these robots are already active, walking through the offices, greeting employees, meeting visitors, and guiding them to the correct departments. If you ever get lost on the campus, you can apparently stop one of these Optimus units and it will direct you better than an Uber. That is not hyperbole. They reportedly navigate the company grounds 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without an operator. Musk's long-term goal is staggering. Imagine a million such robots deployed worldwide. That is indeed his target. Yet he acknowledges major engineering hurdles. In his most recent address, he stated that Optimus already knows how to walk in the park, but bringing it to market is a challenging task. Creating a hand that is as dexterous and functional as a human's is the real engineering abyss. Interestingly, Elon Musk says the hand is no longer the main problem. Instead, he has articulated an unusual condition. He will not pursue the robot full scale unless he obtains voting control of Tesla. Among his demands, up to 25% of the company's stock, plus up to $1 trillion US dollars in compensation. These unprecedented stipulations have already triggered a storm of criticism and concern. Elon Musk has been quoted, My fundamental concern regarding the degree to which I control the voting at Tesla is that if I go and build this massive robot army, can I simply be outvoted at some point in the future? Why is Musk so determined to keep the robots under his control? Because he doesn't just believe in this project. He sees it as Tesla's greatest product, one that will change people's lives and become the foundation of the company's value. Even skeptics acknowledge that Optimus Gen 3 has substantially outpaced previous versions. However, the playing field is becoming ever more crowded. The competition includes not just Chinese startups, but major players like Figure AI and One X Technologies. These firms have already demonstrated that humanoid robots are no longer science fiction, but an emerging industrial reality. For example, Figure AI deployed a robot working for months at a BMW Group factory. One X has opened pre-orders for its home robot Neo, which uses a hybrid of virtual reality and AI control. For years, the central question in robotics was simple. Who would be the first to teach a robot to walk properly? That milestone has now been achieved by several companies. Today, the real race is far more ambitious. Who will be the first to make androids a true part of human life? And as usual, Elon Musk is thinking several steps ahead. His latest vision for Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 is nothing short of science fiction becoming reality, mind control. According to Musk, soon you won't need to speak to the robot, tap an app, or issue voice commands. Instead, through Neuralink, you'll be able to control Optimus directly with your thoughts. This concept first surfaced in 2024, when Neuralink launched the Convoy Study, its first human clinical trial to test whether a brain implant could wirelessly control a robotic limb. Early results showed that participants were able to move a robotic arm using only neural activity, achieving accuracy rates above 85% after a few weeks of training. Then, in October 2025, Neuralink's head of surgery publicly stated that the company was exploring ways to use the same neural interface to command the Tesla Optimus Gen 3. The principle is simple but revolutionary. Rather than manually controlling every joint or limb, the user would send a high-level instruction, for example, pick up the cup, or store the box. The Neuralink chip reads the user's brain signals, Tesla's AI translates them into an action plan, and Optimus executes the sequence autonomously, adjusting its trajectory in real time using vision, tactile data, and balance sensors. Elon Musk has claimed that Tesla is literally building the industry from scratch, and the launch of Optimus Gen 3, the company's third-generation humanoid robot, appears to support that statement. Unlike most robotic startups, Tesla possesses both the capital and the production infrastructure to scale at automotive magnitude, 
more than 2 million vehicles manufactured annually, and over 80 billion U.S. dollars in yearly revenue. That scale gives the company a unique ability to mass-produce humanoid robots rather than create one-off prototypes. In internal demonstrations, Optimus has performed everyday tasks such as sorting objects, folding laundry, and balancing fragile items without any remote control or pre-programmed choreography. The latest footage released by Tesla shows the robot moving fluidly and maintaining balance after external force is applied, performance that engineers describe as a five-fold improvement in stability and motion precision over the previous generation. Traditional robots divide perception, planning, and execution into separate modules. Tesla's approach integrates all three functions into a single model. See, understand, and act, this mirroring the structure of human cognition. Training combines thousands of video samples recorded from both first-person and third-person perspectives. When rare or hazardous scenarios are required, engineers generate them through high-fidelity simulation, allowing Optimus to practice virtually before performing in the physical world. The company's first public validation of this method came with a dancing demonstration, in which motions learned entirely in simulation were reproduced almost identically in real life. Tesla will have a hand with 22 degrees of freedom, again in the hand alone, plus an additional 3 degrees of freedom in the wrist and forearm, meaning the robot will have a total of 25 degrees of freedom per hand. Now, which robot do you know that's closer to a human's 27? Let us know in the comments. Optimus now has precise finger movements. It can grasp small items and exert adaptive force on any object, like an egg without crushing it, for example, or heavy boxes without dropping them. Just looking at Gen 3 makes you want to bottle Elon's ambitions. To make sure the robot lives up to the entrepreneur's claims, Tesla engineers completely redesigned the joint mechanics and sensory systems. Each finger has pressure and touch sensors, letting the bot perform delicate operations without external control. Skeptics will skip, however, at the price. While Musk himself has always stated that the robot will cost between 20 and 30 thousands, some critics are certain he won't be able to cross that bridge. They suggest a ballpark of fifty to sixty thousand dollars. Moreover, some experts believe the robot's actual cost is ten times higher. That makes it two hundred thousand dollars. That's a bit over the top, isn't it? Such a price would immediately narrow the market down to just a handful of companies, and would certainly make its mass adoption impossible. But the entrepreneur hopes to achieve large-scale production of the robot, which should help lower the price, envisioning ten thousand dollars per unit at some point in the future. Sounds like squeezing water out of rocks until you realize, hey, that's actually possible. Take Cybertruck, an unusual project at the start that is apparently profitable today. On the other hand, scalability is another trademark of Musk that can't be ignored. Tesla has already manufactured cars in the millions and is ready to apply the same magic to a robot. Mass production should make Optimus cheaper and more accessible than any other. So, what does Musk already have? The first trump card, no pun intended, is Gigafactories. Tesla already produces almost 2 million cars a year. These factories are designed for mass production with foundry presses, batteries, electronics, and final assembly. Musk knows how to turn a bold concept into a mass-produced product, and he's ready to do it with robots. Tesla develops its own batteries, its own FSD computers, and its own circuit boards. This means less dependence on third-party suppliers and the ability to quickly change things up, especially when it comes to design. For example, if a robotic arm requires a redesign, Musk simply organizes it in-house. The third ace up Musk's sleeve is global infrastructure. Tesla has already built a network of suppliers and logistics, training data centers, and its own microchips. Even after the supercomputer Dojo AI shutdown, the company maintained its growth and development speed by switching to NVIDIA and Samsung GPUs. Other players can only dream of such a scale. The fourth trump card is experience in reducing the cost of technology. Musk aims to make Optimus relatively affordable with a price of around $20,000 per unit. This is only possible with mass production and strict cost control. And finally, the fifth, data. Millions of Tesla cars train neural networks every day. The same stack that learns to drive a car can be applied to controlling a robot's body with, of course, a few caveats. Ultimately, Musk already has the factories, technology, supplies, scalability skills, and data. So, mass production of Optimus isn't a fantasy, but a matter of time. If everything goes according to Musk's plan, Tesla robots will not only work in his own factories, but also in factories around the world, making everyday life more comfortable and enjoyable, which besides the cooking and cleaning includes driving your car, doesn't it? Experts and robotics enthusiasts are divided. 
Some are confident that the robot will have no trouble using Tesla's full self-driving data set to drive non-Tesla vehicles, essentially transferring FSD from the company to Optimus. This means that FSD will be present in any vehicle thanks to the robot. However, Tesla vehicles use cameras located around the body for autonomous driving while the robot will have cameras only in its head. So, since the autopilot system is primarily based on vision, and the robot can see as well as a human, potentially even better, the possibility of using Optimus as a personal driver in the future cannot be ruled out. Musk is remaining cryptic on this matter for the time being, noting plausibility. We'll see if he says anything about it at the upcoming annual meeting on November the 6th. In any case, Optimus isn't just a robot. It's a part of an automated future. Just imagine an electric car in the garage, a power wall battery at home, a mega pack for energy storage, branded charging stations, and all managed through a single app. And now, a robot comes into the system. The house itself decides when to turn on the lights and when to go into night mode. The car charges itself so that it doesn't overload the network. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this, join Techno Creator by subscribing, and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.